What if I told you that you can add relevant affiliate articles across all of your articles on your entire website with one click of a button? I know, I didn't believe it at first either, but then I installed the plugin and hey, it works. In this video, I'm gonna talk a bit more about that. Let's get started. Let me just put this light back down here quickly and get to the laptop. Uh, where was that? My name is David and that introduction made quite a lot of promises, but I'm gonna deliver on those right now in this video. So the plugin that I wanna to talk to you about and show you today is called Effie.ai. So Effie AI, um, this is an affiliate marketing plugin, um, um, website monetization plugin that makes it easy for you to integrate affiliate offers on your website. Think of product boxes like AAWP or Affiliate Table, um, these nice displays of a product, but have them automated using AI to see what the keywords are on a page to match that to products um, that are relevant to the readers or relevant to the, the text on that particular article. This is what FEAI does. Auto mode basically does this for your entire site. So what you can do is you can push a couple of buttons and it's gonna go and scan an article, see what type of keywords are there, um, pick the correct products from the vendors that you're using like Amazon or eBay or AliExpress and then um, once you activate it, it's gonna push this all onto your, your site. So even if you are a purely information site, um, all of your articles are info-based, it can recommend affiliate products on those pages. So you can also earn income from Amazon, from eBay, from AliExpress, all of these other marketplaces that you can then use on your site to integrate them without actually having to write best X for Y products or reviewing specific products. Um, just having these in your information products um, scattered here and there where people would uh, most likely click on them. Normally, I'd only recommend a product after testing it and using it for um, many, many months where I can use some of my data to back that up. But FEA, FEAI is a new product. Um, it's brand new, pretty much on the market. I've used it for about a week and a half now, I think, perhaps. Um, and it's really just from the first use, it blew my mind in terms of just the possibilities that you can do with it. And um, I want to bring that to you right now, just to mention that there is a lifetime deal that they're currently having. So normally you'd have to pay a monthly fee, like with most of these, um, product box plugins like AEWP or um, affiliate table you have to pay a monthly fee i think they also might have some lifetime deals but FAI has a lifetime deal running until the 15th of march so you can get a lifetime license on however many sites you want to um, purchase so if you just type into your browser davidvotison.com forward slash FEAI or if you click the link in the description it'll take you to the um, FAI deal page where you can get the lifetime deal you can purchase a one site license for $49. Uh, you can get five sites for $149, 15 for 269 and 30 for 399. Um, the five site deal is quite good. You can then also get a 10% discount if you use my code David10. They'll give you a 10% discount. So you just go to the discount code, click to enter it, enter David10 and then click apply. And then, for example, the five site license will now only cost you $134.10. Um, and that 10% can be used on all of the different um, offers, including the um, lifetime deal. If you want to use, the, if you want to pay annually, it's slightly cheaper, not really too much. I'd recommend the lifetime deal. Um, but you can also use the 10% discount on those as well. So this video is going to cover just installing the plugin on the back end. So everything that you can see, what type of features, what type of things, if this is something that's right for you, if it'll fit for you. And then of course, we're going to look at the front end and see what um, you can do with the plugin, um, different types of features that it has and um, so on. So some use cases as well and that type of thing. So let's just jump in and see um, installing the plugin. Once you've completed your purchase, you can go to your um, account page and you should have your purchase history here. If you click on view details and downloads, you can um, go and you'll find that you've got the product tab where you can download FAI the, um, the download file. Just click on that and it'll download your file and then make sure to go to your license, key, license keys at the top and then just copy that so that you can embed that when we go to your site. So you can open up your WordPress dashboard, go to your plugins, go upload plugins, just drop your file there into the um, choose file section and then click on install now. That's gonna then install the FAI plugin. Then click activate the plugin. That's gonna take us to the um, your plugin section again and then just go add your license key and we'll go to the FAI settings then. In the license key field, just drop in that license key that you copied Click the activate button, wait a few moments, um, and then 
just click Save Changes to make sure that it's activated. And now your plugin is activated. So as most of us are using Amazon, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview on how to activate or how to add your Amazon details to your um, FEAI dashboard. So there are three things that you wanna add here. Um, your tracking ID, you can just get that from your Amazon account, as well as your API key and your secret API key. So all of this can be found in your Amazon affiliates um, dashboard, in your settings there, and then just fill out your tracking ID, API key, and your API secret key. Um, and then just paste those in there. And then hit the save button at the bottom, um, save changes. And once you've saved those changes, you can just go and um, test the, the validation of the API to see that it's working. You should get a 200 code and um, that should then say, okay, those, that's a bit French, but that's just because I'm currently in France. If you then click on the app tabs at the top, you can see we've got eBay, AliExpress, Koku, Custom Merchants, and then Dashboard. So if you're a member of the affiliate programs by eBay, AliExpress, Kalku, or any other custom merchants, you can go and add your details here. So as you can see, you've got um, all of the relevant information that you would need. Um, also, if you're using custom custom affiliate programs, you can add all the information that you may need for those as well. Um, your dashboard it will just show you when you have got products that are already added. And then under the main settings, we can just have a look through here. You can see you can add, tweak a whole bunch of different things in terms of um, how you want things to appear, um, hiding links, hiding prices, um, changing the different call to actions of having the merchant with the logo or just the button. You can change the rating system, the default rating system, um, if you are going to add ratings to your products, the titles of your pros and cons boxes, if you're going to add those. So these are all optional things. You can change the color, you can add gradients, you can change um, a whole bunch of different things in terms of custom CSS, as well as border radiuses. If you're going to rank things, you can add different icons to the different positions. You can add a whole bunch of different advanced features here that um, just which users can access things and stuff like that. And then we have the really interesting thing and that's auto mode. So here is the, this is the section where you can um, implement this across your entire site to have affiliate products automatically appear on articles without having to do any manually adding them to pages. So here you have your language that you can choose. This is going to be relevant for the type of the, the text that it should um, use, sort of the keywords that it should try and pick on the page to match it to products. Um, automatic mode, the settings here, you can choose where it should be placed. So you've got things like um, appearing after the second paragraph or the third paragraph or immediately after the first one in the middle of your um, content. And then you can choose, okay, should it be on posts or pages? Um, should it also appear after the posts and pages? So I don't check generally recommend to add both. And then you can choose what type of um, merchants it should um, display. So Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Kalku. You can add all of them if you're a member of them. You can add two or three, um, generally go through that. And then what you can do is you can filter the auto mode to only show products from a specific category. So if you're in a niche site like this um, in automotive, you can go and you can select the automotive niche to appear here um, in this category. And then if you're happy with that, you can go and you can click save changes. And now auto mode is on. Let's go and have a look at how that looks um, on the front end of this test site. So if we just go and open up an article, we can see that uh, there we go. We've got three products in the automotive um, niche right at the top. And if we scroll down, we can see that there we go, I have some more products automatically added. I haven't had to do anything on my part in terms of this particular article. If we have a look at another one and another one, we can see, there we go, more automotive article products have been added because I selected automotive and also because this article is about automotive um, parts. If we have a look, we can see more automotive related um, products. Now, if you want to add a product, if you want to add a, if you want to customize this for a particular post, all you have to do is go and open that post and it's going to over, override the auto, auto features. And you don't have to use the auto feature if you don't want to. So you can also add the FAI block manually to an article. So just typing forward slash FEAI and then select the block. And then you've got a bunch of other different options as well. So um, you can go and change the template. So it's currently a grid. You can change this to things like a carousel or a box um, or a review, um, that type of thing. And that's just gonna change the way it appears in the front end. As you can see, this is just the back end. These will be populated when you go and preview it on the front end. So what we can do here is just look for a keyword, say for example, um, carjack. We can type that in and then we can change the, we can have a look at how things appear here. 
And then what we can do is just hit the preview button and we can have a look now and you'll see that we have some carjacks that are now appearing in our um, article. So we haven't had to add anything like titles or any fetching, anything like that. It's done a carjack search on Amazon and it's given us the products for that. If I change that down just to one, you can see now we've just got one carjack that's appearing um, underneath the section, which does fit quite well. So if we go here to the search type, you can choose different things like keyword, you've got Amazon's um, different search parameters. You can also add a, a link, so it's only a button link that you've included here. Um, you can then customize that a bit. What you can also do is you can add um, the, the custom custom options. So if you've got any custom um, offers that you've added there, you can include them here. You can also go to auto and have that. Um, generally, the keyword option is quite nice for this uh, in terms of articles. If you're going to manually add them without having to look for products, um, you can just have a keyword search basically then that will give you a product on Amazon that fits that, um, as you can see here. And you can then customize those um, boxes however you'd like. Now, if you want to have the auto feature on your site, um, but you don't want to have it across your entire site, what you can also do is just add the, the box and then click the auto um, search filter. And then it's going to automatically pick products rec related um, for this particular article. So if you want to do it like that, you can also do that. That's a bit of manual effort, but um, it works quite well as well. And as you can see, we've also got a nice carousel feature that you can use as well. What you can also do is you can go and also select individuals. So you can pick and select by just typing in a search parameter here, something like a lug wrench, and then you can select one that might be good for that. And then you can go and you can search for something else. So say for example, car jack, um, and then we can search for that. We can select a nice car jack here, we can close that, and then we can look for something like, say for example, um, mechanics gloves. So something else that someone would need for this particular article. Um, and then we've got the tools that we're mentioning that um, would be needed for this article, uh, all shown beneath that in a nice um, table format. And then you can also go and customize this thing as well. So even if you're doing a best X for Y product, if you've got, say, for example, three things, you can go and customize things here by adding um, star rating or a, um, a rating circle, um, depending on what you prefer. And you can give custom titles, custom button text, you can upload your own pictures, you can use pictures from the web, so remote pictures, you can add a description to this, custom description, custom pros and cons. You can add any um, additional merchants if you want, and then you can, custom, you can do quite a lot of customizations in terms of um, individual products, or you can leave it to be automatically populated um, by the, the, the plugin. So if we just have a look, you can see here, you can see that the the rating system has now been added to that one. Um, you could go and add some a lot more different customizabilities if you want, or you can leave it pretty much um, in the pretty nice looking state that it has already um, without having any of these customizations. Whenever you're adding new plugins to your site um, that's, that's making contact with outside sources, um, it can generally tend to slow down your website. This is not the case with FEAI. So um, if we're just going to look at page speed insights, we can see that we're getting still some very high scores. I haven't even optimized this um, site just yet, and we're getting high scores in the hundreds on mobile and on desktop. So um, definitely not slowing the site down at all one bit with that. In terms of results, I generally only like to talk about products after a couple of months when I've had enough time to test it thoroughly. But as I've only had this for a couple of days, I don't really have much results to show for that. But I really wanted to get this out now just before that 15th of March um, deadline in terms of the lifetime deal so that you don't miss that. But there are some people that have been playing around with it more extensively and have got some um, immediate results to show for that. So for example, um, Christina on Twitter here, you can see she's got some great results as well as Ariel Phoenix, of course. Um, that's also who I'm got recommendation from so if you definitely should check her out as well um, in terms of just niche website building content like that as well I may have a review coming up on one of her products soon as well now if you are interested in this product there is a link down below as I said use David 10 get an extra 10% discount on that lifetime deal if you're purchasing before the 15th of March if not you can get 10% off of your purchase anyway um, David 10 um, the link down below is an affiliate link if you purchase um, through that then thanks for that and it's generally the time when I recommend that you watch another video. So let me just have a look at what we have. That's pretty much it for me. If you want to find many, many sites in your niche that's getting tons and tons, thousands, hundreds of thousands of traffic, then check out this video next. Um, I highly recommend it, not just because I made it. Definitely check that out. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Um, let me know if you've used FEAI as well down below in the comments and what your experience was. That's it for me. I'm going to see you in the next one. Ciao.